up here. And then, this is like spirally tower thingy over there. The only way you can get through there is rolling onto that. <laughs> yeah, and you're going to want to roll like right here at the, the outermost point to have a better chance of getting there. Um, I don't actually, just in case, I'm going to... Uh, There we go. Just in case, so I can maybe have a little bit more distance on my roll. Yeah. See, I looked. it looked like I was about to fall. I thought I was, but I actually made it out of there. So, now we max that back on. And then you're going to want to run up here. And then, you see that shiny? You're going to want to roll down there and grab that. That's the Undead Asylum Floor 2 West Key. That's a mouthful. And then you walk. Oh my god, I... What the hell? Ugh. Okay, I've never fallen right there before. Shit. Wait, I might be able to make it back in there. Fucking aw, oh, damn it. Uh, okay. Well, you're gonna want to grab that key and then not derp. And make it back up to the uh, staircase. So I'll try that again. Once you get that, usually you can just walk back on, on, blah, 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 on there, but I didn't that time. And now what you're going to want to do is when you get to the nest, it says curl up like a ball. Do that. You'll wait here for like 20 seconds or so, and then stuff will happen. Voila, we are now back at the end of the asylum. You can come back here anytime you want to. So. Can I make our way forward and take out these dudes? Oh, I didn't have enough stamina. Look at me not watching my stamina gauge. Alright, take them out. Now I'll show how to get the uh, item before we go fight the boss. So, but now, don't run straight forward. J just don't. When you go through that door, hang a left. Trust me. You'll hang a left. Stay on the left or the right hand side. Either way. Left or right's good. Walk them. Go ahead and light the bonfire because we're going to be here a little bit. So, first thing we're going to do is we are going to make our way back to the cell that we were in at the beginning of this game. There's somebody guarding it, and there's something special in there that can be oh shit, that can be used for accessing an optional area later in the game that I am of course going to cover. But y you don't even have to come back here. This entire the end. Uh, Return to the Undead Asylum is completely optional. You do not have to come back here. But there are a couple good items, and um, there's that boss that has that upgrading material that you could need. So it's a good idea. And it's that big mofo right there. That's the guy we're going to be fighting soon. For right now, we're going to focus on this dude over here. Black Knight. 
So with these guys, you want to focus on parries and backstabs. If you're not comfortable with parrying, focus on backstabs. Definitely. There we go. This one, the, the sword ones are pretty easy to parry. I mean, no. Oh, cool. I got a sword, too. They'll kind of swing back. And as soon as they start swinging towards you, you're going to hit uh, R2 and parry them, and they're pretty easy. Look at the stats for that sword. Oh, I need 18 decks to use it. Damn it. Hmm. Huh. Kind of tempted now. <laughs> That's a lot of wasted decks, though. For Okay, now, this is the cell we were in at the start of the game. Grab this. It's a pe peculiar doll. Uh, let's read what it has to say. Strange doll in a strange dress. There once was an abomination who had no place in this world. She clutched just clutched this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. That has significance. Um, it'll have more significance when we get to an aerial called Anne Orlando, and you'll actually know what they're talking about. Um, so, yeah. So that's the first thing you want to grab. And then we're going to go back this way. We're basically, all we're going to do is we're going to backtrack to the Undead Asylum. Back to where we plunge attack, plunge attack to the Asylum Demon. And remember there was that room with the uh, shielded hollow. That, uh, the room that told you how to parry. There's a door in there that now, now that we have the... Uh, key, we can open. Uh, don't worry about that guy. If you come this way, I don't think it's cool. Oh yeah, you will if you make a bunch of fucking noise. Come on. Oh, fucking dick. Okay. If you want to light that bonfire, you can. Okay. Another night up there. Is there anything in here actually never came in here? No, okay. There's another knight here. They're kind of hard to deal with because it's close, really close quarters, but we're going to see if I can have as good of a time this time as I did last time fighting him. Alright, he's not going to be as... There we go, yeah, he is. He just wanted to back up and shield for a minute. Show me that he was different from the other one. There we go. If you know how to parry and you're comfortable with it, these guys are a cakewalk to take out. If not, you're going to have a little bit of a harder time just because you're going to have to block and hit and then back off and maybe try to swing around for a backstab or something. Okay, now if you look forward, you can see there's a dude chilling in there. You remember that guy that gave you your Estus flasks? And then he died, right? Well, guess what? I'll just show you. Our buddy Oscar here is hollow. So you have to kill him. It's pretty sad, actually. But he's really slow. He's pretty easy to kill. He does go two-handed like he's going to try to kick your ass, but he's blocking with his sword and all. I was trying to backstab him. Fine. I'll just parry him. Poor dude. It's really kind of sad that he goes hollow. But he drops a crest shield. It's a really good shield. Um, it blocks 100% physical. And look at that magic block. 80%. Good shield to have. Kill him and go ahead and equip that. That will be nice to have when we fight this optional boss that we're going to fight. Oh fuck, I forgot. God damn it. I think I mentioned that. I forgot about that in my first playthrough. <laughs> or in the first episode of this walkthrough. I think I mentioned I forgot about that. And lo and behold, <laughs> forgot it respawns when you come back. Herp derp. Oh well. Oh uh, god. I don't know why I'm reading all these messages. I've already fucking read them.
trying to be crafty, aren't you, buddy? Okay. Well, we're going to go on and go back in this room, and as you can see, there's two dudes now, and they're a little tougher. Let's see if I can parry him. If you can't tell, I really like to parry. I like to take things out in one hit if I can. Parries and backstabs are the way to go to do that. If you noticed, he was in mid-attack and I kicked him. What I was trying to do was if you kick a lot of shielded enemies, if you kick them, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but if you kick them, it'll break their, it'll lower their stamina and it'll break their guard. Well, as you saw him, he was in mid-attack and I kicked him and he was like, oh, fuck, and uh, couldn't attack. So it helps there too. It helps in opening their guard so you can lay some damage. But once you take in out those two, open that door, and then run down here. Don't, don't do that. Please don't fall. Okay, I did not mean to do that. Uh, don't jump like I just did. <laughs> Grab this, a rusted iron ring. Now, we'll read about that ring real quick. Improves balance on poor footing. This iron ring was used to shackle the guilty. It is terribly rusted and faintly stained with blood. Those who find the strange ring to their liking will be pleased to find it easier to gain poor, to gain footing on poor ground such as swamps. Now, if you're walking through water, you're not going to walk around like a complete and total derp, and you're actually going to be able to run. So it's a really good ring to have for Blight Town. So with that said, we go open the shortcut that I never opened when the, the first episode, and we're going to use the bonfire again. That's that's it for the Undead Asylum, except for the optional boss, which is the hardest part. <laughs> so, um, we're going to take him on and probably call it for today. Alright, so you know how I told you not to run straight forward when you come through that door? Well, here's why. Just dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. and break. Floor breaks. And you're dropped into a boss fight with half health. So, first thing you want to do. Oh, I was guarding. Trick to fighting him is get behind him. Fuck. Yeah, that attack right there is really tough to get through. Um, you have to be behind him to dodge it, and the hardest part I feel with this fight is the first initial start of it is when you drop down usually he starts with that attack and I have the hardest time getting behind him before he kills me because it is ridiculously strong it's a magic attack which is why I put on the crest shield but I mean it's it's ridiculous and I mean I could have healed but I was afraid he would have killed me so I was trying to get behind him before I healed um, basically the hardest part of him is that first initial drop um, but you know what actually going to try to do this with fast roll because I might actually be able to get it behind him better um, so I want decent defense okay oops sorry about this okay still fast rolling okay I'll lose my fast roll for that Keep my fast roll with that. My armor is 113. Uh, all right, we're gonna give it a shot. See if fast roll does does me any good. 